guys welcome back I'm sorry it's been so long since I've done a tutorial I am currently sitting in the Nicaragua airport so I am sorry for any announcements or any weird noises you may hear um, but let's just jump into it so on Instagram I asked you guys to comment which pictures you'd like to see a tutorial for and this was one of the ones that you wanted to see so on the left is the before, on the right is the after. So let's just go and reset this photo on the right hand side here. All right, so the first thing I did was I added my Azure Sunset preset, I believe, but let me just double check. I think that's what I did. So let's start there. I'm gonna add this on. Now I'm gonna close this up. Okay, so I'm going to leave this vignetting on, which is natural, to my camera because it was shot on a wide angle. But if I enabled it, it would just take it away. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave it because I like the effect it gives. Up here, I'm going to, I, I don't know, it's like a little bit too purple for me. So we're going to bring up the warmth. So make it a little bit more on the warmer side and then let's play around with this a bit. I know the sky was a little bit more purple. Okay, great. I'm also gonna bring up the exposure just a bit. There we go, more room. Bring up the blacks maybe. That looks good. Okay, so I remember the other thing I did was I added a gradient to the sky. Actually, now that I think about it, it may not have been a gradient, but a brush. But I'm just going to crop this photo before I forget. So always 8x10 for Instagram. That is the maximum dimension. So we'll crop that like that. And I notice it's a little bit crooked. So we're going to straighten that out. Fantastic. Before and after. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to come in here with a brush and I'm going to brush out the sky. Let me just move this around so you guys can see it. We're going to just set all of this stuff to zero. I know this looks super weird right now, but we're going to fix it up. All uh, right, we're going to come over here, bring up the exposure and get into the sky. So that looks pretty good. I'm pretty sure I added a gradient on here though. Let's try that out. So I'm gonna right click and delete this and come over here to the gradient tool and I'm gonna start here and drag down. I really want that dot to be on the horizon so I'm gonna bring that up and let's try a couple of things. Okay, looking good. I think the photo was a lot more pink, so I'm gonna add some more warmth. Uh, that's better. Not so purple though. Oh, thank you whoever just subscribed. Okay. I think that's pretty close to how I had it. Let's play around with this gradient some more. I like it with no highlight. Oh, I'm touching the wrong thing. Shoot. Coming back up here to the mask area. I'm going to bring it up the clarity because I like the detail in the clouds. Bring down the sharpness. Okay, I'm going to add a color to this gradient. It's a little bit much. I really wanted like that peachy color. Peachy pink. Let's try that. Sometimes I play with the photo so much I forget what I actually did to it. So I feel like I'm having one of those moments. What if we drag this down? I feel like that's too much. Okay. 
I just clicked the F tool. As you can see, there's sand on my leg. So we're gonna try and get rid of that. So we're gonna take this brush tool and zoom in. And on the left hand side, I'm just gonna drag down to that area. As you can see, it's really grainy. So we're gonna get to that in a second. Uh, oh no, sorry, I wanted this spot removal tool. So let's see, click, move that around. Okay, looking good. Maybe one more spot there. Perfect. I'm just going to brush out a little bit of smoothness just to kind of get rid of that. And I'm going to go into noise reduction. So this isn't entirely necessary. Looking at the before is so crazy. Okay. Okay, we're gonna head down to noise reduction and get rid of some of the grain. So I wanna bring it up to 23. So as you can see, the photo is a lot smoother and you'll notice less grain. So you can still see it, but it's not as bad. Let's try, I'll just show you what it looked like before and after. Where did that just go? Ah, okay. Okay, so a lot more noise, you can see it on my arm. And then I bring it up and it smooths out everything. There we go. I think this photo is actually a little bit darker, so I'm gonna bring this down. Okay, I like that. It looks a lot like what I had on Instagram. I think that's it for this photo. So I'm gonna end the tutorial here. Let me know if you guys have any questions and if you see a photo on Instagram that you want to see a tutorial for, just let me know and please subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, there's the announcement. <laughs> Okay guys, thanks for thanks for joining me again and I promise to upload many more tutorials very soon. Bye.